pag-aralan natin ang mga tinatawag na emergency note or guerrilla notes kamukha po ng mga ganito so yan papakita ko po sa inyo ay tuturo ang buong detalye sa pagbabalik po natin so sa mga first time lang sa video ko uh, pwede kayong mag subscribe para maka-updated kayo sa mga tutorial na mga tungkol sa mga coins at banknotes pati na rin sa mga binibili nating mga coins So, huwag po muna kayong aalis. Marami kayong matututunan dito sa mga emergency notes at guerrilla notes kung tawagin. Maraming salamat po. Six months later. Welcome back guys. Paper coinage po ulit tayo. Ang pag-aaralan po natin ngayon ay tungkol sa mga emergency notes or guerrilla notes kung tawagin iba't ibang klase po itong notes na to depende sa mga probinsya uh, ginamit ito noong panahon ng hapon so bago ko sa inyo ipakita ang mga ilang sample ng mga guerrilla note emergency notes eh, pag-aralan po muna natin kung ano yung history o historia kung bakit siya nagkaroon ng emergency notes ito po World War II Emergency World War II Emergency and Guerrilla Currency The outbreak of war in December 1941 brought about a vast increase in Philippine military and government expenditures This in turn resulted in a critical shortage of coins and small denomination banknotes The situation was further aggravated when Commonwealth President Manuel L. Quezon decreed an advance of three months' salary to all government employees. In effect this was a bonus, as all employees remaining at their posts were to receive their regular salary also. Provincial treasuries, regional banks and commercial enterprises were all dependent upon Manila for their currency supplies. The deteriorating military situation soon made this impossible. To province the desperately needed currency, including fractional notes for small change, President Quezon created currency committees which were authorized to print emergency currency. Provincial treasuries were soon called upon to pay for Commonwealth expenditures and to ensure an adequate money supply. President Quezon authorized provincial governments to print currency if such could not be obtained from currency committees already established. Even before such authorized, some provinces had All emergency currency issued under presidential authority had the same validity as regular Philippine currency and was legal tender throughout the entire Philippines, regardless of where it was printed. Exchange rate was to stay at 2 to 1, 2 pesos equals 1 U.S. dollar. There came into being two separate areas, the occupied and the unoccupied or free. In the occupied area only regular Philippine bank notes and Japanese military currency was permitted to circulate. In free areas, excluding Luzon and Cebu, Japanese military currency was prohibited and emergency currency, outlawed by the Japanese, continued in circulation. To finance the free civil governments and the guerrilla military forces, currency was issued under various authority. Some was issued under military authority, and some under authority granted by President Quezon prior to his departure from the Philippines. But the majority of it was printed by currency committees appointed by President Quezon via radio from Washington. This post-surrender currency is often referred to as guerrilla currency. However, all issues under presidential authority were officially designated by President Quezon as emergency currency. In theory it had the same validity as regular Philippine currency. In practice, such was not the case. Although there was some inter-island acceptance. These currencies circulated primarily in the area of issuance, or in adjacent areas. Nor did the currency ever achieve acceptance on a par with regular Philippine bank notes despite penalties for discrimination against it. The prolific amount printed in some areas such as Benai, Iloilo currency, and Negros, Montalibano currency, resulted in successive depreciation until the notes were actually worth but a tenth of their face value. Although not as severe, Similar depreciation took place in other areas.
2,000 years later. Ang ipapakita ko sa inyo ay mga ilan lang sa nakolek natin na mga emergency notes at mga guerrilla notes. So, ito po yung album niya. Ayan, photo album lang to, pwede nyo gamitin. So, okay. Ito. Um, Ilo-ilo. Emergency note. Okay. Tapos, Misamis. Ito, ilu-ilu pa rin yung isa, misamis Tapos Cebu Kahit po na emergency note, mga guerrilla note May lumalabas din pong mga api Or copy Ito naman po ang buhon Kaya na po po tumingin ang mga denomination. Negros. Uh, Bakulod. Ito pa lang yung negros. Okay. Tapos min Mindanao. So, anything siguro sa Mindanao, pwedeng gamitin 'yan. Okay. So, yun lang po. Ilan-ilan lang sa mga na-collect natin. Marami ito eh. Maraming mga probinsya po ito. So, yan lang po yung may share ko sa inyo. So, comment na lang kayo kung anong meron kayo. Okay. Yan po yung ating emergency note at guerrilla notes. Sana marami kayong natutunan. Uh, shout out po muna tayo Huwag po muna kayong alis Maraming salamat po Bye bye